You're trying to separate from your family and, you know, get an identity and try and navigate all these new challenges, relationships, questions, getting your first job, figuring out if you're going to, you know, go to college, go in the military. You know, like so many people have so many different thoughts and expectations for you um, to assume that, like, people wouldn't need support or help in that uh, just seems like, you know, I, I don't even know how you kind of can't see the need for it. And then you throw a, like a pandemic on it, like political situation in our world, changing cultural values and challenges, globalization, the internet. Like, there's so many things that you know. I mean, adults who have 10, 15, 20 years experience trying to navigate their life are struggling with these things. Um, how would we assume that you know people who have only a little bit of experience, less experience at least, right, would be able to do these things without help. Stigma a lot of time that's involved with mental health, people don't want to name it. They don't want to say, hey, I struggle with anxiety because then there's there's the judgment that comes along with it. So I think we've, we're getting a little better at some of that, but it's got a long ways to go um, in making sure that people you know, get the mental health services they need because obviously if someone had a cold or flu, they would go to the doctor and get help. But, you know, I don't think that's true a lot of times when people are dealing with their mental health. They just kind of, people say, just suck it up. The influence of social media, I think, plays a big part in it. Um, I think that there's a lot more comparison and um, even just like, mental disorders that are popping up more frequently than before, like body dysmorphia and things like that. I'm on social media for the escapism, personally. Cause like, you sit there, you scroll for hours, you just forget about your problems. It's just like, it's a comforting feeling to just forget for a little bit. More kids like our age or and even younger, they go through certain stuff and they feel like they can't talk about it. And I feel like everybody should have the equal opportunity to talk about what's going on normalize it so that just like you go to the doctor when you're sick you're able to access the help you need when you um, are in need of more support around your mental health 
So I think the more that we are able to have conversations with that, and I think adults, um, I feel strongly that adults set the ceiling for how we allow our young people to have conversations about it. If we're able to um, educate and raise awareness around our adults, we're then able to have conversations with our young people. The standards that people set, you know, like you, you scroll on social media, you'll see people post themselves and more youth, they'll feel like they, they, they don't hold themselves to them standards and they bring people down. 